the LG V20 user here and today I'm doing a video about the OnePlus 8 5G so I'm on phoneowning.com here and it says that Verizon may release the OnePlus 8 5G as its first OnePlus phone so this is really cool uh, so that this is just rumors at this point in time so that would really be cool if the OnePlus 8 does come to Verizon and if it does it will be Verizon's first OnePlus phone so that would be really cool. Um, so the OnePlus 8 has not been announced yet by OnePlus. Uh, so yeah, that's a that's, that's what the OnePlus 8 is gonna look like right there. Nice looking phone. Uh, just have triple cameras on back. Has a punch out for the uh, front facing camera there on the front. So I don't think it has a uh, a um. It's slide up front facing camera like it did on the OnePlus 7 Pro. So, you ha there you have it. Oh, this is courtesy of OnLeaks there. So, you had the OnePlus logo over there, and you won't have no Verizon logo on this one. The wallpaper is very nice as well. I do like the wallpaper, very nice. So, let's check this out. It says Verizon Wireless might soon launch its very first smartphone made by OnePlus. In September last year, we heard that this smartphone could be the OnePlus 8 Pro. However, according to a new report from Android Police, Verizon may actually release the non-Pro version of said device, simply dubbed OnePlus 8. Um, I do think that they, I think do think there is gonna be a Pro version of the OnePlus 8, but Verizon is only just getting a OnePlus 8 version there's no they're, they're, they're not getting the pro version they're just getting the regular one plus eight and this one will have 5g so that's a win assuming that this new report is accurate Verizon is bound to become the third US carrier to launch a one plus headset after T-Mobile currently selling the one plus 7t and one plus 7t pro 5g McLaren and Sprint currently offering one plus seven pro 5g so if all this is now if all this becomes true, Verizon would be the third US carrier to offer a one plus phone on its network. The first carrier to do that was T Mobile with the one plus six. The T Mobile has the one plus seven T, one plus seven T Pro five G McLaren and Sprint has the one plus seven Pro five G on Sprint. So Verizon may be the third US carrier to offer a OnePlus phone. So, that's, so that'd be pretty cool if you guys like OnePlus and you guys are on Verizon. So that's a win. If it is indeed true. So you'll have three carriers to offer OnePlus phones. Um hopefully AT T will offer a will offer a OnePlus phone at some point because that'd be really cool. Says a few existing OnePlus phones already compatible. Says a few existing OnePlus phones are already compatible with, with Verizon, but they aren't directly sold by the carrier. You can only buy them unlocked. Oh, uh, you can buy. You can buy a OnePlus phone unlocked and use it on Verizon, but only a few of them are um, supported. I think like the OnePlus 7 Pro, the OnePlus 6T, the OnePlus 6, and stuff like that. Um, I don't know the exact um, list of the OnePlus phones that are compatible with, with Verizon. Uh, I guess you would have to ask OnePlus about that, or you would have to ask Verizon about that. Because I don't know. I know that the OnePlus 7 Pro is supported on Verizon. I know that. So I'm guessing you just ask beforehand before you purchase a OnePlus phone or not. So you guys don't buy a OnePlus phone and use it on Verizon and it don't work. So um um so do you research first before you want buying a OnePlus phone unlike then use on Verizon. So do you research first because you know it said that Verizon's OnePlus 8 will be 5G ready. So that'd be really nice. Just allowing users to access the carrier's newest high speed network. This would be just one of the around 25G smartphones that Verizon is planning to introduce throughout 2020. Also, uh, the OnePlus 8 will be like one of the all phones that Verizon will launch with 5G on there. So the OnePlus 8 on Verizon will have 5G to, uh, connectivity, so you'll have access to Verizon's 5G network. 
So that is really cool. So you guys will get the 5D speeds and stuff like that. But of course, you guys know that all the facts, you guys know that most of the facts of friends this year will have 5G on them, like the Galaxy S11, the LG G9, the Galaxy Note 11, and stuff like that. So most of the facts of friends this year will have 5G built in them. So there you go. Uh, the OnePlus 8 specs and design. This is design right there, like I said. Nice looking phone. It looks fucking nice as hell. It reminds me of the OnePlus 7 Pro from last year. And I think it's like a bluish color, maybe. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell what color it is. Oh, but it does look very nice, nonetheless. It says Ren is, all, Ren is allegedly showing the OnePlus 8 included in this article have been first published a bit over two months ago when viewed from the back the upcoming phone resembles the OnePlus 7T Pro but its front is a bit different hosting a punch hole camera a la Samsung Galaxy S10 so um if you guys like the punch hole design on phones the OnePlus 8 could be your Fun to check out because the um like it says here in the article uh like I said the one the back of the phone reminds me of the one plus seven pro from last year reminds me of that on the back on the front of the phone reminds me of a, of a Galaxy S10 in terms of punch hole design and stuff like that so like I said this uh, phone will not have the pop up front facing camera like it did on like I said this one won't have the pop up front facing camera like I did on the OnePlus 7 Pro from last year so do keep that in mind it will have the hole points for your front facing camera so so if you guys like the hole points design the OnePlus 8 is worth checking out for you like I said the fence look, does look very nice you know so uh, great job for one great job OnePlus for doing that uh, reportedly the OnePlus 8's reportedly so these are just rumor specs and stuff like that. So do keep it in mind. So as reportedly the OnePlus 8 sports a curved 6.5 inch 1080p display and measured 160.2 times 72.9 times 8 by 1 millimeter. This would be this would make it a bit smaller than last year since it launched by OnePlus 8 side. The Alfred mentioned 7T Pro, which measures which which measures at 1.162.6 by 75.9 by 8 by 8.8 millimeter so the one plus eight will be a bit smaller in terms of uh, size and stuff than the 7t pro from last year but the one plus eight is going to have a 6.5 inch display that's a curved display that's 1080p display so not too bad like like almost like almost all OnePlus phones before it, the OnePlus 8 will be a high-end device. Most probably, it will feature a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor. This hasn't been announced yet. So the Snapdragon 865 processor hasn't been announced yet. Um, but I do think that's 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 the the Snapdragon 865 is the processor that the flagship phones will be running this year. So this, so this is a flagship phone. The OnePlus 8 is a flagship. The display uh, resolution might not scream flagship, but 1080p display is not bad, alright? So the um, OnePlus 8 is going to have a Snapdragon 865 processor like most flagships will have this year. Uh, it's gonna, has, the chipset has not been announced yet. It should be announced uh, uh, not too long. Probably... Uh, in the near future, uh, the OnePlus 8 is going to have 8 gigabytes of RAM and at least 128 gigabytes of internal memory. Um, I don't think there's going to be a memory card on this phone, so don't expect one. So you'll have 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage, so built-in storage. Uh, there might be another um, version, a storage version, maybe 256 gigs, maybe 512 gigs. I'm not sure, but we will have to wait and see. The upcoming handset could. Be featured could feature wireless charging, which will be a first in the OnePlus phone. Because no OnePlus phone before it has wireless charging, it does have like the warp charge, which is pretty cool. So the OnePlus 8 could be the first OnePlus phone to have wireless charging. That would really be cool because the back of the phone looks gonna have glass and stuff, so it should 
you have wireless charging and the, and if it does have wireless charging that'll be a plus for one plus you know what i'm saying uh with or without wireless charging the battery of the one plus eight should be around four thousand milliamps so the battery on this one should be a big one about four thousand milliamps i think the uh the one plus seven pro from last year was four thousand milliamps so it should be similar to that on the one plus eight so you, you guys will have a big battery on this one, regardless of wireless charging or not. If it does have a wireless, if it does, if this one plus eight does have wireless charging, that would be a fucking plus. That would be a fucking plus, and that would be a win. Okay. So. Uh, there are no details about the triple rear camera of the OnePlus 8, but we assume this will be able to deliver nice photos and videos, obviously. Hopefully, it would deliver um, great pictures and videos on this phone, because this is supposed to be a flagship phone for OnePlus for 2020. It's likely to, that it's likely that a telephoto camera for actable, for actable zoom in a wide-angle camera are included in the triple camera setup so you guys will have a total so whatever cameras that the one plus seven t had the one whatever camera that the one plus seven pro had last year it's gonna have it on this one uh so you have a telephoto camera a wide angle camera and a uh probably a depth sensor camera or maybe or probably a regular camera i guess um I know that, that you, I know that I know that I know that you're gonna have a telephoto camera lens and a wide angle camera lens on this one, and it's probably gonna have like a main camera lens on here. So that's nice. The uh the megapixels I don't know. I'm gonna say it's about the same as it was on the One Plus Seven Pro from last year. The, about the, about the same. So a 48 megapixel camera on back. One Plus eight press and release date the one plus eight is expected to be announced and released sometime in the second quarter of this year so customers should be able to buy it no later than june of course something is certain at this point so there's no word of when the sun's gonna get announced and released or probably get announced uh second quarter so this one's just to get announced and released sometime in the second quarter of 2020 so after mobile world congress it's going to be announced sometime after that so we won that to this one at mobile world congress we will not see it there so maybe one plus is on hold probably one plus will hold its own event on the phone so we'll have to wait and see about that uh release date don't know announced date we don't know about that either so it's all just all uh, rumors at this point, uh, it says customers should be able to buy it, no, buy it no later than June. So that's about second quarter. So the second quarter goes from uh, March till I think the second quarter goes from uh, April to uh, July or, 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 or something like that. So like the each quarter is like every three months is a different quarter. So you have four quarters in a year. So, uh, sometime, so sometime, uh, in the second quarter between March and June, I would say between there. So, uh, stay tuned for that. So, some preliminary official information regarding the OnePlus 8 could be revealed next week. More exact, more exactly, we may hear about the handsets Screen, which is rumored to have a 120Hz refresh rate that would really be nice that would be a fucking win the OnePlus 7 Pro had a 90Hz display so it's going to have the same refresh rate as it does on the Razer Phone 2 so that would really be cool this would be a step up from the 90Hz refresh rate on the screens found inside the OnePlus 2019 phones like the OnePlus 7 Pro, the 7T, the 7 and all that good stuff. Although users may not notice a clear difference between these refresh rates. It's going to be hard to f tell. You would, you would have to... In order to tell the difference between a 60Hz display, a 90Hz display, and a 120Hz display, you would have to have the phones in your hands and compare the phones side by side 
you, you're not you're not gonna be able to see it on camera. You're not gonna be able to see it on camera. It's better for you to buy it. It's better for you to get the phone and try it out and test it out for yourself and see if you notice the difference. At the moment, there is no word on how much Verizon OnePlus 8 will cost, but we do know that the 5G handsets are more expensive than non 5G models, of course. For an example, the OnePlus 7T Pro 5G McLaren is currently priced at $899.99, being the most expensive OnePlus phone to date. That being said, we are expecting the OnePlus 8 5G to cost around $700 to $800 bucks at Verizon. So the um the one plus eight it's gonna be expensive of course you know it's a flagship plan it's not gonna be like you know like a thousand bucks expensive or anything like that so I said I say, I say between seven thousand I mean seven hundred dollars I said between seven hundred and seven hundred and nine hundred bucks between there but we'll know more about the price when it, when it when it it is announced and stuff like that. Um, the one plus eight could have two siblings like a like the um like the one plus seven from last year the one plus seven had the pro version and the t version this one could have the eight the one plus eight pro and the one plus eight t or or, or, or something like that all right it says a cheaper one plus eight like might be announced so so there'll be a, a light version of the phone so um they're so they're gonna be th Three um versions. You 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 will have a light version, a one plus eight, 5G version, and a one plus eight Pro version. So that's pretty cool. Also, the so a cheaper one plus eight light might be announced, but might be introduced alongside regular one plus eight, and a more expensive one plus eight Pro. For now, though, it's unclear if the light and pro models will be officially sold by U.S. carriers. If not, they will probably be available unlocked anywhere. So, um, the one plus eight could be th it could be three one plus eight. You could have a one plus eight light, one plus eight, and one plus eight pro. So that'd be pretty cool. Uh, so the one plus eight light would be like the cheaper version. Of, will be a cheaper version. Of, of the phone, then the one plus eight pro will obviously the will be the most expensive part of the phone there. And there's no word if you if there's no word if you U.S. carriers will get the light version or the pro version of the one plus eight at this time. There's no word on that just yet. But you can buy them online anyway. You should be able to anyway. It says if you're a Verizon customer, are you excited about the possibility of purchasing a one plus smartphone from your carrier? So this is so this is really cool. Um, this is really cool. Um, I think this is good for Verizon because, um, like I said, if you like OnePlus phones and you're on Verizon, the OnePlus Eight Five G could be for you to check out. So, uh, the phone does look very nice. The specs on it look pretty good from what I see so far. This is rumors and stuff like that. Uh, the phone looks very nice as hell. It reminds me of the OnePlus 7 Pro on the back and the Galaxy S10 on the front. So, like I said, if you guys are on Verizon and you guys like OnePlus phones, the OnePlus 8 5G is worth checking out. Um, there is no word of when it will be announced or released, so stay tuned for that. And when, when this phone it gets announced, I'll do a video on it, of course. And then also, when this phone is released at Verizon, I will do a video about that as well. So, so, so stay tuned for that. Um, so this will this will really be good for Verizon because it will give Verizon customers more options to choose from in terms of uh, manufacturers for phones. So uh, Verizon might have a OnePlus phone coming their way sometime in the second quarter, according to this article here. So uh, yeah, if you guys are on Verizon, are you guys excited about about a OnePlus phone coming to Verizon? Um, if you guys are now on Verizon, why did you guys switch to Verizon for the OnePlus 8 5G? Um, so, uh, yeah. So this is probably a long video, but, um, yeah, so Verizon might be getting a OnePlus 8 Pro. Verizon might be getting a OnePlus 8 5G for its first OnePlus phone. So Verizon would be the third U.S. carrier to offer a OnePlus phone. I think that would really be sweet, and I think that would help OnePlus out. And it will also... 
give customers more options to choose from in terms of friends and stuff like that. So good, so good job Verizon and one plus for that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, you guys. If you me a lot, please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.